So basically, how to transform your EK for $2,900. 2,000 EK hatch. 2,900 bucks. I would've cut the springs and bust on some real Evos. Bro. I like it. I hate your kids, but I like it. You know, the budget is still all about the details. What you guys done to the car? <laughs> what up YouTube, we're back with another transformation video. But in this video we have a different chassis. I have a 2000 EK hatch, very rare car, super hard to find in white and five speed. I'll show you guys the car, car is bone stock, got it from California. I make this a quick video, basically the same thing as the EG, but in an EK chassis. The price is very a little bit different and the car will look a little bit different. I wanna do one for each chassis, so I figured I have the opportunity to show you guys the EK that we have. Sorry I'm outside, it's a little bit loud. Hopefully you guys can hear me all right. 2000 EK hatch, original Cali car, clean quarters, original quarter panels. The car's bone stock. I have all the emblems in the car, the Civic and the front grill one. So basically in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this on a budget for an EK. They're gonna hate us. You know why? Because I always see in the comments, everybody always looking for OEM stock hatches and here you are just fucking ruining them. <laughs> and we're not even putting great parts on here either. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna just go through it real fast one more time. Engine's bone stock, we're not touching. The motor has AC, power steering. Sorry, super sunny out. But I'll pull the car inside in a second and show you guys one more walk around. Show you guys the interior, how we're gonna start, how we're gonna finish. There's no floor mat, we have all that stuff. And I'm gonna also go through the full price breakdown again like we did the EG and I show you guys exactly how much we spent. That total is not gonna include labor. Has original cargo cover. This car is super, super, super clean and it's super rare. EK hatches are very, very hard to find in white and five speed. But everything's in good condition. Sorry, it's just the sun does not help for the camera. I'll get the car inside for you guys, show you guys all the parts, give you guys a price breakdown. And yeah, that'll be a pretty good video. Short, be quick. And then if you guys wanna do this, this is under $3,000. So let's get to it. Before I show you guys the parts, I'm gonna give you guys a full total breakdown of everything we got for the car to make it look how it's gonna, basically how the finished product is gonna look like. First up on the list is again, another set of rotor wheels. I paid 750 bucks. A set of Falcon tires, 450. We got a set of gunmetal, basically CTR replica headlights, 120 bucks coilovers you can go either two ways if i had the option to have more time i would go with a set of k2 and k1 coilovers they're about the same price i think 1100 bucks so that's maybe one thing i would change but so far we got team coilovers for 1050 i said aftermarket mud guards we have a first molding front lip so mud guards were 40 the front lip was 110 steel lug nuts for 40 oem floor mats are still available for this car but they're in black for 100 bucks rear low control arms from skunk 2 for 250 bucks total will come out to 2910 so to do this whole set up basically 2900 bucks what i would change on the car is if i was to keep it and like long term you guys want to spend a little bit more money make it look better paint match the side skirts make it look like an si get an oem civic si front lip paint match it also and then oem civic si front grill those three things will make the car look very very good here's the car i'll pull up inside give you guys one more walk around then we'll get through the parts basically 2900 this is budget Budget. 2900 will make this car look very, very good. It's crazy, I found two white cars to do the transformation with. Let me know what you guys think of the car, drop it in the comments. First up is a set of wheels. We went with gunmetal because the headlights are gunmetal. I wanted to do silver, like a silver, flat silver look, but they didn't have them in stock. This was the next best thing. Put a set of Falcon 215, 45, 16, all the way around. Rim specs are 16 by seven plus 40. You guys can go with either the teen or the K2 suspension. This was 1050. Rear skunk two control arms. This back end comes spherical. These were 250 bucks from skunk 2 this is the biggest key factor to put on the car these are aftermarket they're a ctr replica headlight obviously they're not ctrs because you guys can see the reflector here on the ctrs they do not they do not come orange but yeah so the ctr replica headlights and we have oem floor mats from honda the original ones for the car are supposed to come gray but those are not available anymore an oem set but not the right color but black will do then we have a set of mud guards you can find those on ebay for 40 bucks i think they're for like a coupe or whatever but they'll still fit the back 
will look a little weird. That's all you can get for now. Unless you find someone that has a good OEM set. We got the lug nuts and the first molding front lip. Also picked up a set of clutch covers because the clutch and brake ones are messed up. But these were super, super cheap. But yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much it for parts. $2,900 will get you all this. So you guys can buy some of the stuff on eBay. I got most of the stuff on eBay, pretty much all of it, to be honest. Except the tires. I got the tires of the tire rack. We're going to install the parts now. But in this video, you guys will be able to see the transformation of this car. I think within 5-10 minutes. Hope you guys enjoy it. You guys can see the clutch pedal one rubber is completely gone and the brake one has seen a lot better days and I'm going to install the floor mats on top of these. You guys can see the carpet. Carpet's okay. Could use it like a good cleaning. Let's put the mats in and then I'll put those clutch covers on. I'll show you guys the difference. Alright boys, got the new clutch and brake pedal uh, rubbers put on. Man, what a difference, right? <laughs> Look at that. This is before. And that's after. It's just the little things that matter. Yeah, this car is not completely mint. I get it, but it just makes it look that much better. See the floor mats in there. It gives it that little clean look that you want. I wish I had the originals, but uh, they're super hard to get right now, especially in decent condition. For the little things that we can do here to make it look that much better, after I get a good shampoo on the carpet, I think it'll come out pretty good. So first thing done here, floor mats and then the clutch pedals. So we got the front suspension completely off. I'm sure you guys got all four wheels and tires off the car. It's actually a really, really clean car. Not bad. Got the front suspension all bolted up. Yo, Kev, the back suck on these, right? Yes. Yeah, they do. <laughs> like the uh, gotta, EGs are mad easy. That's how you know this is original, though. But yeah, the bolts are right under there somewhere, right there. You guys can see them. But yeah, both sides, the top. Come off, take the speakers out. It's not like an EG. You got that little cap. You can just pull it out. Pretty much the same thing. Not too much more work. Back suspension coming right out. Put those on. Put the mud flaps. Get the thing on the ground. See what it looks like. Control arms on and the rear suspension. So you guys doing this on the EK. There's a space spacer that goes in between here and the rear strut. So spacer in the front and the back. Only for EK only. EG doesn't need it. So for whatever reason, the teen ones didn't come with the rear spacers, right? I don't really like fucking shit, but K-Tune. I had to steal from the K-Tune one. Luckily, the K-Tune coilovers we have are gonna go on the EG anyway, so shout out to K-Tune. Let me see a spacer real quick. Thank you for these spacers. And if you're running steel braided brake bands, it also comes with a bracket oh, for it to hold. Yeah, it comes with this whole thing. K-Tune rides a lot better. I'm sorry, K-Tune. If I had a set here right now, I'll put them on the car. I'm just gonna use what I got here for now. Spacer sits in between. And you put one on the front side, and then one just on the like back that. side. And then just like that, you put the nut that it comes with. So remember boys, this is just EK only. It requires a spacer, the EG does not require it. Shout out K-Tune, man. Appreciate you guys. So we have here a set of K-Tune K1 coilers for a build that we're gonna do here. These are the coils that I recommend to put on you guys' street cars. This is definitely a nice coilover. I like these because you can adjust the body of the shock as well so you can get a nice low ride height. They make great products. We have everything K-Tune here pretty much. K-Tune coilover, uh, shift boxes. They make everything, coil plate covers, all your swap parts, hoses, pretty much radiators, everything. Everything. Still a little upset that you guys got me with the glizzy dipstick, but that's the sonic. <laughs> Man, what a difference. New headlights, old headlights. The CTR rubs just look so good. These on the gunmetal wheels, front lip, I'm gonna put the emblem back on. Mud flaps are all on. It just gives the car that much of a better look once the wheels are sitting on there. But yeah, all suspension components are on. Mud flaps, floor mats. We still gotta do wheels and tires, put them on front lip. And I think that'll complete the transformation. Gotta put the finishing details on it, baby. You know, the budget is still all about the details. All right, so I'm gonna move the car over on the alignment rack. We're gonna set the ride height, get the car alignment, and uh, see what it looks like from there. Got the front lip on, headlights. This thing would look so killer with an OEM grill and OEM SI lift. It's just parts are so hard to find right now. I hate these front grills, but this is, the eBay ones look like junk because the, the, the mesh and they don't sit flush into the bumper. But hey, it is what it is. Still gotta set the ride height, but it's looking good. Drop in the comments, how do you guys feel about the wheel setup? You guys like how the car looks? Uh, what would you have done different? But so far, so good. Sitting outside. I wish we would have got some silver wheels. 
It's not bad, it matches the headlights. It does, it does match the headlights. Remember boys, all of this for $2,900. Not bad. You get a set of brand new wheels, brand new tires, suspension, control arms, and the car looks good. What you think, you like it? Or you hate EKs? Bro? I like it. I hate EKs, but I like it. <laughs> all right. Drop in the comments what do you guys think. So we're gonna set the ride height, do alignment. I'll pull it back outside to give you guys another walk around the car. That'll be pretty much it for this. All right, ride height is pretty much set. We actually put the Ray lug nuts on here. I had an extra set. But uh, looks pretty good. Still gotta detail it. Got the trunk emblem, gotta put back on. But overall, it looks pretty good. Drop in the comments what do you guys think. I'm gonna pull it outside, give you guys another walk around my car. But I like it. So basically, how to transform your EK for $2,900. Someone told me, hey, here, take $2,900, your car look like this. I'm doing it all day. That's just no labor though. $2,900, you can't beat it. You got a lowered EK hatch, riding in style, for $2,900. You know what I would have did? What would you have done? For $2,900, I would have cut the springs and bought some, uh, some real Evos. <laughs> <laughs> Drop in the comments, would you have just put some, you could have bought some H&R springs for 200 bucks and bought some real wheels for the car and called it a day? For 2,900 bucks, what you guys done to the car? Yeah, exactly. For 29, I'm going to give you guys a gra three grand. For three grand, what would you guys have done to the car? Would you guys have done it my way? Drop in the comments, what would you guys have done? I I'd love to see the comments. Got the car pulled out outside. Ride high is pretty set. Let me know what you guys think. The car looks really good. So this was the EG that we did in the other video. The transformation looks a little bit different. Got the EK. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the EK more? Do you guys like the EG? And also, if you had three grand, what would you guys have done to the car? Obviously, the two different platforms. It's actually dope that I have them both outside right now. But EK looks so so good. Give you guys one more walk around, show you guys the interior one last time before we close the video out. So I got all the mats in. Looks really, really good. Like for three grand transformation, I mean for three grand on either or car, like honestly, I think you can't beat it. You can go a whole bunch of different routes with this. Me personally, I like the EG more. I just love EGs. The EK looks amazing. Like I said, if it was me, I'd spend extra money on the front grill. I'd get the OEM front lip and then uh, paint match the skirts and get some CTR mirrors and then, then I'd call it a day. I probably would have went with like a silver wheel just I could only get what I could get right now at the time. At the end of the day, both cars came out great. Shout out Kevin, put everything together. But yeah, man, they both look good. It's crazy that they're both white too. So uh, drop in the comments. What do you guys like? If you had three grand, what would you guys have done? And uh, I can't wait to see the comments what you guys are gonna say. Pretty dope transformation video. I hope you guys liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Love you guys.